You always know you got protection behind you if you get beat. He has the potential to win Defensive Player of the Year one of these days. I think that's in his future. So the Time Lord is biding his time, Kevin. <laughs> David, thanks. A lot of focus on the guard matchup tonight, Greg. Both these teams rely on their backcourts to lead the way for them. And if anything, it should make for an entertaining basketball game. And it becomes a little bit of a chess match when it's a backcourt duel. Those are always fun. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. Griffin is out there with Horford, and it's Smart in at the point. And for Sacramento, Harris and Sabonis hold down the post positions for him. The backcourt pair will be Fox with Herter, and it's Barnes in at the three spot. And it's the Kings to start out. Here's Fox. Tries it from the top of the key. Horford with the rebound. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from there. And it's Brown missing. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. I know one thing the Kings wanted to focus on this season, and Brent, that was defense. Well, they're a team that's been at the bottom of the league on the defensive ratings for quite some time. And one way to remain competitive is to bring your defensive intensity on a nightly basis. It's going to be a point of emphasis for this new coaching staff to get these guys on board. Tatum's shot is off. On offense, here are the Kings. Sabonis, the pass to Fox. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. And the shot is good. Uh, pretty much all you can do on defense there. De'Aaron Fox, great poise in the painted area. Boston is gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Griffin a screen on Barnes. Tatum passes to Griffin. He takes it in. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now, here's Fox. Just five to shoot. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Horford. Hey, even De'Aaron Fox has talked about how he's the fastest player in the league. The cool thing about it is night after night, he seems to prove it. And he makes the first. Thank you. 
Fox hits them both. So it's the Celtics now. Tatum deciding where to go with it for Murray. That one wide left. Kings have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Herder on the wing. For three. He's off on that one. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Smart passes to Tatum. Cloak loose. Murray against Griffin. Murray outside. The wide open look here for Fox. Offensive rebound. Sabonis with the bucket. Yeah, Sabonis just cleaning the board, taking care of business. That's just too easy if you're the defense. Fox against Smart. Passes it to Brown. Griffin sets the screen for Brown. Just five on the clock. Off target from three-point range. Now here's Herder. He's covered by Brown. Herder with it. Murray outside. Three-pointers off the mark. Smart against Fox. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. One shot. Some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes plays that help you win. Now, here's Fox. Barnes outside. Misses the three. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Horford with it. Now guarded by Fox. Ball's knocked loose. Fox with the steal. Pass to Herder. Back to Fox. Now the pass to Herder. A shot by Sabonis. Nobody around. Offline with his three. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Brown outside. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. The Kings leading. On the wing, Barnes. Inside, deflects the pass, and stolen by Horford. Griffin passes to Smart. Rejected by Murray. Pass to Fox. Driving inside. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. So shifty Fox gets in there anytime he wants to. Right, many scouts felt Murray was the most NBA ready of all the draft prospects last year. He understands what he does well and plays to that. He can control the pace. It's hard for defenders to speed him up, and he gives you versatility at both ends. Sacramento leading by three. Sabonis, the pass to Fox. The kick out to Barnes. Good and a nice assist from Fox. The defense better recognize that Harrison Barnes more than capable from there. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, well, their offense has ground to a standstill. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first.
Horford. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And stolen by Barnes. And Murray now top of the key. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. Fires the three. Sabonis, no good. Celtics trail by six. Up top, Tatum. Covered by Barnes. Smart. Boston, no good that time either. Kings shooting 33% here in the first quarter. Barnes kicks to Fox. Passes it to Sabonis. Now, Herter. Shot clock at five. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. Timeout is called. First of the game for Sacramento. The Kings making a change here. Monk's checked in. Brogdon, he's checked in for Boston. Four on the shot clock. Gets it to fall. The bucket from Herder. Herder never shy to let that one go. Just enough room on the catch and shoot. And Boston has possession. Trailing here by eight. Pass to Brown. Off the run. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. 76% from the line a season ago. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And the vertical that Brown has is pretty impressive, as relentless a finisher as you'll find in our league. That one is no good. And prior to playing in college, Sabonis played professionally in Spain. Well, that's such a head scratcher to me. I mean, 16 years old. I mean, here you'd be getting your license. There, Sabonis was playing in professional leagues against grown men. So that experience certainly has helped him both in college and for sure being a pro now. And really, Brown is very talented at nailing shots even while getting hit. What muscle this guy has. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. Williams, he's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Griffin. Find the lane. One shot. Free throw good from Brown. And so Fox will bring it up for the King. Four-point game. There's the pass to Murray. Shoots from 14. Rebound by Williams. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Brown outside. Good. The nice assist for Williams. Brown's got seven points in the game. And the three-point shot is something that Brown continues to improve upon. It's important for him to be draining these looks. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And the defense to start that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. Each trip down becoming more important. And you need to string some successful offensive possessions together and play tough deep. Just getting more and more court awareness and where guys are at all times is De'Aaron Fox. 
Brown feeling out a bit. Outside to Brockton. Williams has a screen for Brockton. Here he goes. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Brogdon doesn't back down from the contact. He goes inside, he anticipates it, and he takes it. The Celtics have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Brogdon. And he's the glue that holds this team together. Brogdon's calm demeanor and lead by example approach is so valuable to this squad. The Kings making a switch here. Davis has checked in. Both good from the line that time. A great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Wide open look here for Murray from outside off the mark. Boston's gone a meager 106 from three-point land since we got started tonight. Brown dishes to Tatum. Over Murray. And the basket by Tatum. And the Celtics lead by two. And even back in high school, Tatum had the knockdown mid-range jumper. We don't see that as much from him now, but he's still got that in his bag. Now, here's Fox. He has six. Five on the clock to the paint. Unloads from 13. Williams with the block. And here is Brown. He has seven. Over Monk. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Now it's a four-point Celtic lead. A crossover. And there's the nice layup by Fox. Fox has got eight. So slick with the ball. Fox getting in there and busting out a few moves. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And you gotta love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. Timeout called the Celtics. Al Horford is checked in for Grant Williams. to the inside. Murray against Tatum. That shot off the mark. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Sabonis, the pass to Fox. Monk with the ball. Launches a three. And it's White with the rebound. And here's Brown outside. Bangs home the trifecta. 12 points for him. And you aren't going to slow down Brown when he's scoring the ball like this. He is simply on a tear. Monk for three. The rebound by the Celtics. White looking around. And here's Tatum for three. And again, busting with the triple. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Fox. He's got eight. Shot clock at six. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Fox has got ten points in the game. Well, hard to get Fox off of his center of gravity. So low, so quick. And phenomenal at scoring when he gets hit. Brown, good. Unstoppable. He has got it on automatic out there. 
Fox catch the month. The three from Davis. Oh, through the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. That one on White. Yeah, good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. And that one misses. And some changes here for the Kings. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Sabonis. Lyle comes in for Murray. And Davian Mitchell subbed in for Fox. And a change for the Celtics. Hauser's checked in. Good on the second free throw. Brown, 15 points in the game. 32 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. The shot by Brogdon, no good. The Kings trail by eight. 20 seconds left in the first quarter. To the middle, here's Holmes. Nice pass, right into the rack, perfectly for the layup. And this is why you see Rashawn Holmes at the very top of those field goal percentage leaderboards at the end of the year. And here's Brogdon from the arc. Hands it from downtown. Brogdon's got seven points in the game. Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. Mitchell way outside and he got that one up in time but doesn't go in. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Austin on top as they end the first quarter with a huge surge. An 18-7 run. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Celtics. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Well, in the early goings, the mid-range shot has also been working well for them. They've been racking up some points off of those jumpers, and those are probably being invited. At the guard positions, Mitchell and Monk. Piles out there with Terrence Davis. And it's Holmes in at the center filling out the middle. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Kings. Austin shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. And up around 82% as a team a season ago. So they know how to make the most of those opportunities. What's up? In decades past, teams that led the league in threes, if they shot that same right now, would rank break dead last in the NBA. So with that thought, which teams of yesteryear probably should have shot more threes? And that's a good one. Kevin, I think you got to look back to the run TMC Warriors, right? How about the Larry Bird Celtics? Man, they could knock down the triple. Celtics leading by 10. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. DeMontis Sabonis is one of the best passing big men in the league. He said, sharing the ball is contagious. Everyone feels confident and knows they'll get touches, which makes the game fun. And that can build chemistry on a young team. Kevin. And David, we know how important that is. And we thank you for your report. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. Yeah, you'd like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Now, here's Mitchell. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Over smart. Jalen Brown with the rebound. Brown's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Brogdon. 
He dishes it to Smart. Back to Brogdon. Fires from deep. Boston. No good that time either. The Kings trail by 10. Miles passes to Mitchell. Miles a screen on Smart. Here's Mitchell. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Even before his regular season debut, Greg, Davion Mitchell was grabbing attention. Well, Davion was named the Co-2021 Summer League MVP, an honor that recognized his promise, but also a showing and signs of what he was going to do when he got into the NBA, and that was wreak havoc defensively on guards who don't like a lot of pressure. Free throw drops for Mitchell. Austin making a switch here. Lights checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Celtics leading by eight. Outside, Horford. In the corner, it's Griffin. Outside, Smart. Griffin sets the screen for Smart. Tries the spin move. Outside, White. Good, and Smart gets the assist. White's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And for the Kings, they're shooting 40% from the field. Is it to Monk? Bounce pass, Davis. Holmes with a screen on Brogdon. And it's Mitchell missing. Boston's gone past the three point line for 13 of their shots. They're 6 of 13. Griffin sets the screen for Brogdon. Off the mark there with the three point shot. The Kings trail by 11. to Monk, lets it go with a three. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. How about the quickness of that release by Monk, uh, an experienced catch-and-shoot player who feels comfortable firing from deep. Now here's Smart. And the pass to Brogdon. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Brogdon's got six here in this quarter. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from range. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Timeout called by the Kings. some changes here for the Kings. Sabonis comes in for Rashad Holmes and Murray subbed in for Trey Lyons. And the Celtics also making a change. Williams, he's checked in for Al Horford. Celtics on D. Mitchell finds a bonus. Now, here's Monk. That falls. Nice speed that time from Sabonis. Monk's got six. 
If you leave someone open on a team with Sabonis having the ball, he's going to make you pay. That's great recognition. Williams passes to Brogdon. That's tipped. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. And then Monk with the dunk. And it's just easy to love the energy with which Monk plays. Whenever he's close to the rim, he is looking to make a statement. Outside, Williams. Pass to Brogdon. Outside, Griffin. Fires the three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. This is a good sign here. Brogdon, under duress, still comes through. The Kings trail by nine. Murray is screen on Brogdon. Mitchell outside. Murray against Griffin. Six on the shot clock. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Knocks down the three ball. Mitchell's got five points now in the quarter. I, I like seeing Mark set his teammates up. A part of his game that I think he's got to continue to improve. Brogdon with it. Now defended by Mitchell. Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it attacks an easy two points onto the lead. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. And here are the Kings now after the basket by Boston. Here's Monk. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. I tell you what, Monk's ability there to finish in traffic shows some toughness even though he was fouled. The Kings have missed two free throws in the game going five for seven. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. Barnes is checked in for Davis. The Celtics also changing it up. Jason Tatum comes in for Blake Griffin, and it's Brown in for Marcus Smart. That one misses for Monk. And Monk is an interesting player. A combo guard with fantastic scoring potential. Quick on both ends of the floor. A little breakdown there. Letting him get that rebound. You can't allow that to happen. Brown outside. Williams has a screen for Brown. And the three off target. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for Sacramento. Trailing by four. Murray, good. And they repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Brown outside. Tatum on the wing. Takes a three. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists in the game. Kings have gone 8 of 10 from the field here in the second quarter. You've got to like how they've shot the ball. Murray is screen on Brogdon for three. Mitchell, no good that time. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Tatum dishes to Brown. Outside Williams. A three-pointer, no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And stolen by Williams. Passes to Brogdon. And it's sent back by Sabonis. Sabonis has to use good timing in order to block shots. That time he did. For three, Mitchell. And they recover. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Some changes for Sacramento. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Monk, and it's Fox in for Mitchell. Marcus March checked in for Boston.
Well, Sabonis is an unselfish player. You can see it in the actions out there on the floor. He's trying to get the best out of both himself and his teammates. Now, here's Brown. He's got 15. The kick out to Ruth. Over Sabonis. Busted. No good that time either. The Kings trailing. Here's Fox. He nails it. And we're tied up. Fox has got 12 in the game. Continuing to expand his offensive game. Fox off to a good start. Outside Tatum. Good and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got three assists now in this one. And guys, there are some you can give that shot to. But, but let's be clear. He's not one of them. Terrible job there by the D. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. The Kings trail by three. Tipped away. Stolen by Smart. Pass to Tatum. Three-pointer. Sabonis grabs the ball. Sabonis has got nine rebounds now tonight. Dishes it to Fox. The pass to Murray. Kings moving the ball around. And here's Sabonis. Guarded by Horford. A jump hook. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Celtics leading by three. Smart passes to White. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul of the game. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Smart deciding where to go with it. Just four to shoot. The Celtics need to get a shot off. And here's Tatum for three. Sacramento's gotten out their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Shoot from the right block. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Sabonis. Good determination as Sabonis worked his way through contact. And it's smart with the ball for Boston. Brown outside. And a miss there on the triple. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Murray kicks to Barnes. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. The Celtics shooting 41% from the field in the second quarter up to this point. The three from Tatum. Sabonis grabs the board. 
Tatum's gotten just four of his ten shots to fall here, shooting 40%. Sabonis, the pass to Fox. Rebound, Boston. On the wing, Brown. He's covered by Murray. And it's Brown missing. The Kings shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Sabonis feeling it out a bit. For three, Murray. Another miss for him. Now shooting one for four from the floor. Brown outside. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got his fourth assist in this one. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on him. Now, here's Sabonis. He's got nine. Sacramento again missing. A shots like that drive coaches batty. I'll be shocked if he attempts that shot again. And finished off by Horford. Pretty strong and physical that time from Al Horford on the inside. 132 left to play here in the second quarter. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Herder. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on White. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. The Kings have shot 67% from the line, going 6 of 9. First free throw is good. Already impressing at a young age, Kevin Herter's dead-eye accuracy from deep, combined with being a fearless competitor going inside, that's going to pay some dividends throughout his career. And Herter drops them both. A minute 20 left to play here in the half. against Smart. Sabonis with the steal. Right side, Fox. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. Fox has got four points in the quarter. The closer that Fox gets inside, the more effective he could say. I guess he could say he's good in the Fox hole. Fox against Smart. He feeds it to Tatum. Rejected by Murray. Fox against Smart. Hits it up from 12. Al Horford with the rebound. Horford's got his fourth rebound in this one. The Kings trailing. Sabonis, so the pass to Fox. Sacramento moving it around. Stolen by Smart. Goes up. And slam dunk by Smart. Terrific steal. Smart doesn't take a lot of chances, but knows when to pick his spot. The Kings shooting the ball beautifully in the second quarter. They're at 55% from the field. Here's Fox. Watch contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And he's had an excellent performance overall from the field. The Kings have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. Free throw good, Fox. The Celtics shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Here's Tatum. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, you got to really do a better job on Tatum once he gets on the way up. Excellent at fighting his way through the defense there and still able to convert.
One shot. And that one falls for Tatum. And you know, Jason Tatum is one of those guys who can really do it all. Uh, he's got a versatile skill set that makes him a constant threat on both ends of the floor. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Celtics lead by four. Live from Golden One Center, you're watching 2K Sports. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. It's been a clinic out there by Jalen Brown. Yeah, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. On the court right now for the Celtics. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. Horford is out there with Griffin, and it's Smart in at the point guard. And I tell you what, Tatum is proving to be an all-around scorer of the basketball. He can do it all. Fox against Smart. And there's the call on Kevin Herter. That'll be his second foul of the game. Outside, smart. Knocked loose, and it's out of bounds. And they say last touch by Griffin. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. The Kings trail by six. Pass to Sabonis. That one, no good. Good work defensively by Horford. Here's Brown. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. 20 points for Jalen Brown. Really as good as any passing big that we have in the NBA. Horford is a guy who can run an offense as a big. Good. And he's now got the double-double. 11 points and 11 rebounds. Oh, I love that dish down low. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Brown outside. Shoots over Herter. And it's Brown missing. King shooting 47%, pretty solid. Murray dishes to Fox. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Nice shot by Smart. Smart's got seven. Yeah, nice play by Smart. Under control and transition. Something also he's improved at. Sabonis is screen on Smart. Fox. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Playing from behind right here. Not easy, but he is answering the bell. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. He's made all three of his free throws so far. And he shot foul shots One at shot. about a 75% clip a season ago. Free throw good, Fox. Celtics leading by five. Down low, Sabonis with the steal. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Fox finds Murray. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got six rebounds here tonight. Over Barnes. And he overshot that one, missing. 
for Sacramento. They've gone two of four here to start the second inning. Back to Fox. Stolen by Smart. Now the dish to Griffin. Smart against Barnes. Boston again missing. The Kings trail by five. Pass to Sabonis. Fires for three. Good and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got his fourth assist in this one. Tatum with it. 16 points for him. Brown outside. Outside, Horford. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Murray kicks to Fox. Got a piece of it. Fox with the steal. Outside, Zabonis. Griffin passes to Smart. And it's Brown that time on the assist from Smart. Smart's got five assists in the game. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. They had a nice score that came from just attacking the rim. Huge play in this hotly contested game. Well, what a summer for Keegan Murray. The fourth overall pick in Preston Summer League looks to be just the type of player the Kings needed. Timeout called by the Kings. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Fox passes to Sabonis. Sinks the triple. Sabonis has got 17 now. Well, that's a bonus right there to have DeMontes step out and shoot the three and stretch out the defense. And here's Brown outside. Trains the three-pointer. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. Well, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Here's Barnes. Gets the bucket and the foul. It goes on Jason Tatum. Pretty focused play right there from Harrison Barnes showing he has what it takes to convert sometimes those challenging buckets like that one there. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Boston. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now. Racking up the assist by playing so unselfishly just finding the open man. And it seemed like throughout this game, right after the jump ball, they've just been feeling it from distance, getting all the looks they want and continuing to take advantage of that three-point line. The Celtics with the lead. Smart with the ball. Now guarded by Fox. Outside, Smart. Horford sets a screen for Smart. And the wing jumper off line. And it's Sabonis with the ball for Sacramento. Pass to Barnes. Now Herter. 
and trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Outside Griffin. And there's the feed to Smart. It's up a three. Buries the long-range jumper. He's got ten. And, of course, this is Smart's biggest hurdle. Sometimes he looks great shooting a three. Sometimes, though, it's just the opposite. Now here's Barnes. He has five. Knocked away. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And the first one at the line is good. Harrison Barnes continues to be a consummate professional. Goes out and competes every night. Gives you everything he's got. Zips and both. Celtics leading by three. And there's the pass to Smart. Griffin a screen on Fox. Doubled by Murray. Here's Griffin. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got six assists now in the game. That's a nice soft touch from Blake there. Now Fox, 20 points for him. Outside, Sabonis in the corner. Turner with it. That three off the mark. Boston's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the off. Griffin a screen on Fox. Smart with the ball. Sabonis defending. Good on the shot. Griffin's got five points now this quarter. And that's what Griffin does best. They're remarkable how he maintains control and schools the D. Ruger with it. Crowns there. And the foul called on Blake Griffin. That's his first foul. Malik Monk, he's checked in for the Kings. Austin also with the sub. Ogden's checked in. Feeds to Murray. Kings moving the ball around. Hits the three-point five. Herder's got ten. Shot preparation is fantastic as Herder's able to get his feet set that time. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for Boston. 
They've held a 12-point lead early. Sabonis against Horford. To the paint. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. And the Celtics lead by seven. Well, the defense is putting up a fight inside, but they don't know what they're up against. Now Horford gets it done. Fox against Brogdon. Fox passes to Herter. The tray. And another three for Sacramento. You've got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Celtics leading by four. Outside Tatum. Brown outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. In the corner, it's Monk. Over Tatum. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Now, just a two-point Boston lead. Well, Sabonis at 6'11 doesn't need to get too high, but it still counts. They get a hand on it, and stolen by Murray. It's three on three on the fast break. For the lead, drills it from outside. Murray's got five now. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Kings. They have been a wrecking ball defensively, coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. We also have to admire the way they've gotten out and run in transition. And they've run wide, they've run their lanes, they've been doing it with a great pace. And that's produced some easy score. Now, here's Fox after Jalen Brown's miss. Fox finds a bonus. Another three for Sacramento. Sabone is such a difficult guy to guard, and right now, he is going off. Now, a timeout called by Boston. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let him hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. Check in for the Kings. Davis comes in for Kevin Herter. Then for the Celtics, Grant Williams is checked in for Horford. And Derek White subbed in for Griffin. Kicks to Williams. Looking to end the run. Unable to get that one. And the Kings going the other way now. Greg, they're in a rhythm offensively, really cooking. And the opposition looks helpless to stop them right now. This is his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throws good, Lyle. Oh, 
No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Celtics trail by five. Here's Brown. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Brown's got 27. And you got to respect how accomplished Brown is down low, destroying whoever is in his way. Here's Fox. Here's Wiles. A three-pointer off the mark. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Here's Tatum. Yes, and the foul. It's going to go on Sabonis. And Coach was talking about the muscle Tatum's packed onto his frame. He said now he has the power of a power forward. We saw it on display right there. And for Sacramento, they're shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. Monk kicks to Fox. He dishes it to Davis. Sabonis' is screen on Brown. Monk for three. He can't get it to go. And Boston will go the other way with it. Rodged in the pass to Brown. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Brown's got 11 points in the quarter. The, the defense has no answer for Brown. When, when he's dribbling the ball, his teammates know they are in good hand. So it's Sacramento. A two-point game. Pass to Sabonis to stop the run. The rebound by the Celtics. White's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Williams. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Here's Fox. He's got 20. And oh, boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's on Malcolm Brockton. Well, Fox really daring them right now to foul him on the inside. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. Shooting two. That free throw missing. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Sabonis. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for the Celtics. Marcus Smart comes in for Jalen Brown. He hits the second from the line. Here's Brogdon. 18 points for him. Griffin sets the screen for Brogdon. From deep. Griffin's shot is off. The deep doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Monk with the ball, and Griffin picks him up defensively. Here's Wiles. No good from 11 feet. Austin leading by three. Griffin kicks to Smart. Passes it to Brogdon. Shoots over Fox. And there's Brogdon on the assist from Smart. Brogdon's got 20. Well, everything in sync right now for Brogdon. Nice base, good timing, good release. On the wing, Monk. Light covering. The shot by Monk is no good. And here's Boston. They're on an 11-1 to -one run. Fox against Brogdon. Rides to the hoop. And a strong finish with two hands. How about Brogdon rising up to the rim? The Kings trail by seven. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Holmes with a screen on White. Monk, the pass to Holmes. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. 
terrific effort from him really all night. Yet despite his supreme marksmanship, they're still operating at a deficit. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And a look back at his numbers from the free throw line last year, 78%, so not too bad. Davion Mitchell's checked in for Sacramento. Celtics also with a sub. Hauser's checked in. He struggled early on, but this is a much improved part of Rashawn Holmes' game. Shot and game clock separated by five. And White kicks to Williams. Wants to get it to Smart and does. And Davis sings it back. And he recovers it. Five to shoot. Here's Hauser. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Jalen Brown has been leading the charge for Boston. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And here are the Kings now. At the guard positions, Mitchell and Monk. Terrence Davis is out there with Murray, and it's Holmes in its center. That's the five out there for the Kings. Murray finds Monk. Off target from outside. Not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Williams has a screen for White. No good with the triple. The Kings trail by four. And here is Holmes. But no one around him. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got three assists now in this one. Fourth quarter of basketball, we're about a minute into it. Inside, it's stolen by Monk. Mitchell against White with three, Murray, and another three for Sacramento. Game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. Hey guys, no separation yet, and I really don't think we're gonna see any all the way down. Now, here's Smart. There's a screen by Williams. Poked away, Holmes with the steal. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Holmes with a screen on White. Mitchell with it, Williams picks him up. And Derek White picks up the foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. For three, Mitchell. Rebound by Williams. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Boston Celtics. They have yet to put up any points here in the fourth. As to Hauser, from past the arc, gets the three-pointer to fall. Hauser's got himself on the board with three there. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. The Kings have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. The first one falls, and some changes here for the Kings. Sabonis, he's checked in for Rashawn Holmes. Barnes comes in for Terrence Davis. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Monk.
Sam Mitchell drops them both. Boston Trio. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Right side, Smart. Rebound by Murray. Murray's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Sabonis. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, Sabonis just taking that hit and finding a way to finish. The Kings making a switch here. Fox is checked in. throw good Sabonis and over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth Griffin a screen on Fox White goes in Fox with the steal the pass to Sabonis Barnes sets a screen for Sabonis Over Williams, Sabonis with the bucket. Sabonis has got 18 points just in the second half. The defense all up in Sabonis's face, but looked automatic. Celtics passing it around. Williams up on top, defended by Sabonis. And it's White missing. Kings leading now by six. Fox looking it over. to Sabonis and out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession Malik Monk he's checked in for Sacramento and the Celtics with possession here now here's Brogdon can they get it Good on the triple. Brown's got 32 points in the game. And some question Brown's jumper coming into the league. Now no one is because of shots like that. Sacramento's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them a fall. Fox kicks to Sabonis. On the wing, Monk. And the turnover again by Sacramento. That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. Barnes, he's checked in for Malik Monk. And a change for the Celtics. Al Horford, he's checked in for Williams. Here's Brogdon. Outside, Horford. To the middle, Sabonis with the steal. And now Sacramento on the break. And there's Fox. That's good on the assist by Murray. Fox has got 23. How about that? Just accepting the contact and still getting the finish for Fox. Rodged in the pass to Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. And stolen by Murray. And here we go. Fast break. Murray's got it. There's a bonus. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. He's got 29 points. And how about Sabonis out there and finishing as a big on the break? Horford sets a screen for Tatum. Outside, White. Five on the clock. From deep. You can't get that one. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Here's Herder. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Round kicks to Brogdon. Passes it to Tatum. Dishes it to Brown. Sabonis with the steal. Pass to Fox. 
It's stolen by Brown. Here's Tatum. Offensive rebound. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Horford. Smart's checked in for Derek White. And it's Barnes with the ball for the Sacramento Kings. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Here's Herter. Connects from three-point range. Herter making it look easy that time on the pick and roll as the off guard. Smart with the ball. The pass to Brown. Boston, no good that time either. Here's Sacramento now. They're on a 20 to 6 run. Ogden against Fox. Knocks it loose. Up and in on the layup. Fox has got the lead up to 12 now for Sacramento. Another good play. This is how they built the lead calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but. It's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Now, here's Sabonis. Jason Tatum missing his last shot. Sabonis kicks to Fox. Deep two for Murray. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Murray's got five points now in the quarter. Celtics trail by 14. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Outside, Smart. Horford sets a screen for Smart. Offline from the top of the key. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. Murray against Tatum. And here's Barnes for three. Good and a nice assist from Fox. And the Kings lead by 17. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. And up the court come the Kings on the break. Fox leading the charge. Great setup there by their setup man and De'Aaron Fox. Celtics trail by 19. Tatum on the wing for Murray. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Sacramento's run 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. And stolen by Tatum. For three, Brockton. It's hauled in by the Kings. Sabonis, the pass to Fox. Basket counts. Fox has got 27 points. That's a nice floater. I mean, a la Mike Conley, if De'Aaron Fox can establish that float game, tough to stop. They need to stop this run. You know what, Kev? I think it's time to switch some things up, either by going to your bench or with a different look defensively to disrupt their rhythm. Now a timeout called by Boston.
They get a hand on it. Tatum, that's for two. Again, the miss by the Celtics. He's not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. Sabonis kicks to Barnes. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sabonis. Well, when Harrison Barnes makes shots like that, confidence grows. He's feeling it. Teammates are going to start feeding off of that. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. Pass to Brogdon. Brown outside. To the inside. And the call will be against Sabonis. That's his third foul of the game. Brown outside. Can they get it? And the three ball is good. Brown's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for Boston. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Barnes moves back up. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Uh, Harrison Barnes trying to contribute this time, rebounding the ball. One shot. That's good from Barnes. 139 left in the fourth quarter. Right side Tatum over Sabonis. Second chance shot and the layup good by Tatum. Tatum's got 21. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Sacramento as one-sided as it gets today you know there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team yeah I mean Kevin it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them uh, game planning by the coaches execution by the players everything was just on target and you know looking back in all the contributions tonight it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Demonis Sabonis I like his aggressiveness here tonight especially on the glass he was not messing around Smart dishes to Tatum. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. A mix of agility and strength makes Tatum lethal inside. He can easily work around the defense. Now, here's Fox. Passes it to Sabonis. Makes it off the glass. And that's 31 points for Sabonis. This arena was rocking throughout the night you, you could really feel the energy a yeah, huge motivation always great for a young team but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game here's Tatum after the basket by Sabonis four seconds separating the shot and game clocks and there's the bucket from Tatum and it's going to take more than that to stop Tatum, a wing who can score in so many different ways. Now Fox. And so it's Sacramento easily grabbing this one. There was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous fans involved from the get-go and once they started to really pour it on it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective and that'll do it folks for greg anthony brett barry and david aldridge this is kevin harlan thanks for watching the nba presented by 2k sports as we leave you with our new balance player of the game damanis sabonis